Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to fix that type of error actually. When I uh, run my application today and I got that type of error when uh, creating a new user uh, in a shopping cart project. So just got that type of uh, error when I uh, just click on the register button and create a new user uh, like uh, Jacob and Jacob at the right of zmail.com and address is xyjard xyjard state is xyjard pin code is blah 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 okay and the phone number is uh one two three four nine eight seven seven six like uh, password is jacob and that is jacob okay so when we click on the register button i got that type of error like uh, no i user two factor token providers actually that problem is uh, related to the token providers so just how to resolve these types of things uh, in uh, asp.net core uh, an unhandled exception occurs while processing the request no support exception uh, no supported exception no i user two factor token provider t user named default is registered so uh, how to resolve that type of problem uh, in ASP.NET Core. So just open your program.cs file first of all. And uh, after that in where your identity is configured and uh, as is uh, dependency you have to add your identity. You can see that uh, builder.service.add I add identity, uh, identity.user identity role. So just after add you have to say add uh, default token providers default token providers okay so after adding that line in your uh, asp.net core program.cs file or startup.cs file you will also get uh, okay that's uh, fine uh, you will also get uh, oops not included it here okay that's fine and after that you have to uh, run your pro uh, project just add add default token providers line in your project and resolve that type of error or exception in your project just wait for some times and uh, you can see your outputs okay and just click on the register button and the name is Jacob Email is also Jacob at the rate of gmail, gmail .com. address is xyjart, 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 blah 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 blah, and password is Jacob. And when we click on the register button, you will get that a username Jacob at the red gmail.com is already exist. So uh, everything is fine after creating this. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.